So picture this. You're a human and everything. You're with a pack of humans. You know how humans are. You have a pack mentality. Of course you'll be naked because humans are born naked and stuff. And now you're, you have a couple of problems, of course. The problem is you kind of need to eat. Now, at that point, you kind of have two choices. If you're a carnivore, you're probably, you know, you're kind of going to be running for your food. And, of course, humans, we, we, we don't like the whole running thing. You're just going to be like, You could, I'll get you tomorrow. And then I guess there's the herbivores. You know, the pussies of the group. Although their way of life may be a little bit more simpler, and generally a good idea, you know, for the whole life thing, you also won't know what the poisonous berries and the poisonous mushrooms would be. But I guess just like everything else in life, it just takes time to know. Will it take some trial and error? Yes. But eventually, we'll learn. But on to another matter. Despite the whole food crisis, you have to wonder how living would really work out for the average caveman or whatever in general. I mean, have you ever, you know, lasted a month without any clothes on at all? Anything protecting you from the elements? You'll probably get sick, but I'm trying to say. Most likely the flu, or uh... Let's just go with the flu. Now you tell me. How the hell... Is a naked... 34 year old... Caveman, dude... Gonna find a way to cure your flu? And don't do me none of that, oh, just walk it out shit. Chances are, I would hate to say that a lot of you might just die. I mean, like, if the flu is that bad, I guess. And I guess that if you're lucky to, you know, reproduce in that kind of way, which, mind you, would be pretty hard since deodorant isn't, you know, created. Invented. Invented's a better word. Just think of it. Sweaty. Salty. Newborn unadulterated love. With more BO you can shake a stick at. But say you just look the other way with the whole stinking thing, you know, since you, you know, your other half haven't bathed since she was born. You put the whole team player in, and all of a sudden, boom, you got a newborn baby. Just the way mother would have wanted it. And all of a sudden, you got a big happy family that you have to now catch a whole bunch of squirrels just to eat. For your family. Now, I guess the whole pack thing, you know, the whole human pack thing would help with that. And I guess that you would have other jobs around the village or whatever the pack does. Keep in mind, this is like a whole universe in which humans haven't mentally evolved to the point that we you know, do now. It's kind of messed up because what are the chances that your newborn baby would even like surviving diseases that may be spreading at that point? I mean, you wouldn't let your baby you know, uh, roam around some kind of jungle infested with bugs and jungle chickens and roaches and penguins. Which comes to another thing. Who can even be sure that you can survive birth? Which now, since I think about it, that's probably why people really like the whole reproduction system thing. I mean, what if your body knew this whole time, like, hey, there's a really good chance that we're gonna die. So I might as well reproduce, like, as much as I can and as much as I can, to whoever I can, too, at all, forever, and stuff. I mean, as strong as the human body is, we are very susceptible to diseases and plain old stupidity. 
near-death experiences happen for a reason, people. It's because you're stupid. Like, say, like, your brain knows that there's a good chance that you're gonna die and stuff, so it naturally wants to reproduce in order to make up for such shortcomings. Which would explain why nerds, you know, smart people, really would want to reproduce more than, I guess, the jocks, I would like to think. Because what if your brain knows that you're smart, and that because of that you would be such a great asset to society, to the world, to your village, or maybe you just want to reproduce. So if you don't find yourself with much of the need to reproduce, then it's quite possible that your brain knows that you're not going to be much of a good asset to society, especially to the future. Because, you know, just saying like, yeah, I'm going to write you off as a Neanderthal. You can't really reproduce. You don't really deserve it for the future. It's for the best. But <laughs> if you're a nerd and a damn smart one, then you'll find yourself wanting to reproduce all the time. You're gonna have to want to do it all the time, anytime, anywhere, with anyone. Because you know that you have to. For the world. For society. Or you just want to reproduce. So, getting past surviving your childhood, surviving your manhood, and surviving the B.O. And wanting to reproduce! I guess there's... Oh, and I guess the whole food thing. That's a, that's a priority. Right, food. Priority. There will be a lot of things that will get in a normal human being's way, I guess. If you ask me, it's quite amazing that we even evolved to the point that we did, you know? I wonder what kind of blessing could have befalled a simple human to be able to create the great things that we have now to set off the chain reaction for the incredible, the seemingly impossible, to be able to fly, to be able to go faster than a horse, to even reach the moon. But yet I guess some of us are still unevolved to that point, so I guess there are just a couple of us that are just prodigies. And I guess at the end of the day, there would be a lot less human beings if everything was all natural in the way I depicted it at the very least. Which I guess isn't all that accurate because <laughs> we seem to be doing pretty alright. But yeah, we... It, it all worked out for us at the very end, you know? Well, at least up until this point. So, yeah, I guess it took some prayers and some really dumb luck for this to happen. You know, this whole thing, this whole smartphone thing, somebody had to pray for that. I just, I'm, I'm telling you, those are really great. Really great. But, um, I guess I just said my whole piece. And I'm probably going to put some links up here about um, my younger videos, you know, my early work. Definitely not as great as this right here. But it's something, you know, it's, it shows that I've grown to this point. So maybe you can like and subscribe, maybe for other stuff, because I know that I'm just gonna wow you somehow with something great and awesome. And yeah, this is about it. As always, enjoy your next video.